Welcome back to our Leaf Blower Revolution guide. In this guide, I'm going to be talking about preparing for nebula bosses. The nebula bosses, which is going to be three more bosses in total, till you get to the next galaxy called the uh, Energy Belt. And these three bosses are going to be the Batman, located in the File Cemetery, the Lone Tree, which is home to the Air Elemental, and Spark Bubble, which is home to the Spark Bubble boss. So I'm going to be going over how to prepare for these bosses to make sure you have a smooth transition into getting into energy belt. But I'll also be making another guide on that proper transition in a little bit later. So let's go over the things that I would recommend in getting prepared for your first, second or third nebula bosses. So the first thing I would recommend you guys do is unlock the next type of leaf, which is located in the Malachite shop, which is going to be hematite leaves. This hematite leaf is going to be located in the spark range, which is going to be the new area and gains us access to two new types of resources. We want to unlock this spark range, teleport there, and we're going to start farming our new, first new resource, our hematite leaves. Hematite leaves gain access to a lot of different things and a lot of things very useful for us to get ready for the bosses and some important farming stuff to get. The first is going to be our electrical energy, which I'll go be going over in a second. The next upgrade increases our electrical storage by 20 per level. The next three upgrades is going to be our new type of shards. These three new types of shards are called ascension shards, fusion shards, and transformation shards. I will get those, sorry, I'll go over those in a little bit when I talk about our crafting. We have saturated shards, which will allow us to increase the max amount of shards per leaf that we can get by one per level up to three, meaning that we can have a max of 13 shards per leaf on our properties. However, you can this doesn't affect the max, so the max is still 10 per property, but 13 overall on the leaf. The next is our traditional marketing and fertilizer. And now we have our craft forge. This craft forge gains access to four more craft levels. However, this craft forge does not work like other typical craft forges. As to get anything above ancient leaves for our crafted leaves, we're going to be needing to fuse those leaves together into our new crafted leaves. I'll be going over that in a little bit, so stick tight until I go over the rest of the hematite shop and the electrical shop. Next we have Craft Hammer, which increases the chances of us getting ancient leaves. Bigger backpack up to uh, additional 10 backpacks uh, storage slots. And our card detector and boss cards detector. Now let's go over our electrical shop now. Electrical shop is uh, a new resource that we gain in the spark range as well. And is only being able to gain access to it and uh, collect this resource in the spark range. Now, this, the electric shop is quite small, but it has some really nice upgrades that will help you with your damage, which is more electrical storage. This upgrade allows us to have an additional 100 more electrical storage uh, space per level. The next is charging port quality plus plus, which increases our charging value by one. This basically means that our ch base charging rate is increased. We have max relics. This max relics is, makes us have more relics than our capped 10 all the way up to about uh, 11 or 12 depending on your uh, crafted leaf and your energy capacity next one is going to be our energy relics which will increase the relics damage by one percent each 1000 energy of storage that we have this is going to be great because this will help us gain increased damage as well and the last one we don't have to worry about this upgrade but um, it converts plasma leaves into electrical energy. We don't need to worry about this upgrade as this is a energy build plus upgrade. After we've done that, we're going to be heading over to our crafting area to talk about our shards. Shards are going to be used for upgrading our leaves. These are going to be our normal shards and they're going to be used for upgrading our leaves besides cheese. Besides using ancient leaves to ascend our leaves, we're going to be using ascension shards. And these ascension shards and those three types of special shards are going to be able to be brewed in the uh, brewery tab or alchemy tab. These are going to be quite expensive. They cost electrical energy, a lot of shards, and a lot of dark essence. 
So one of the first things we're going to be doing with our new crafted leaves is going to be crafting a which assets multiplier set and a uh, multiplier for our shards that we get for our bosses. So once we go back into our crafting area, we're going to one of the first things that I want you guys to get on your sacred leaves once you have unlocked it or your biotite leaves or malachite depending on where you've gone up to is going to be our look fun here enemy shards count and energy shards multiplier what this is going to do is it's going to give us more shards when we kill the boss and this will start adding up to you can get thousands ten thousands of shards per boss kill which is going to be very nice um essentially sorry not essentially especially when we're going to be needing a lot of mana shards to farm the special shards our ascension shards our fusion shards and our transformation shards what our transformation shards do is if we go over here and we select any type of leaf we're able to select a property here let's just say we want uh, energy charge and we're able to re-roll that property into anything that we want to uh, but at the moment it's going to be random so you're going to have to reroll quite a bit and depending on the leaf it's going to be quite expensive with our transformation shards for base value on a biotite leaf it's going to be 70 sorry not 70 it's going to be seven uh, transformation shards fusion is going to be funny not really funny it's going to be a new mechanic as it requires six of a typical leaf to fuse into the next tier up. So six, uh, six ancient leaves uh, fuse into one sacred, six sacreds go into one biotite, six biotites go into one malachite, and six malachites go into one hematite leaf. This is going to be quite a grind as we're going to be needing a lot of dark essence. So I highly recommend you get a uh, shard multiplier set as quick as you can to help with to get fusion shards and i'd highly recommend as quick as you can to start farming uh, witch and crafting to get as high as highest craft leaf set that you can get so we can start effectively farming the witch to get all that dark essence needed as well as farming snowman to give you a higher crit value essentially doubling the amount of fusion shards and dark essence that you get if you have a hundred percent crit value as well after you've done that and you've started to grind out your witch and crafted leaves and got up to a reasonable set talking about a malachite set at least two or at least two hematite sets for later on about to kill spark bubble then we can go on to making sure that we have these other things ready for the bosses these neck things are going to be in our milestones. Now we're going to start off with the tower. The tower will give us damage as well due to our pyramid milestones. And I would re highly recommend at least beating our tower floor 200,000. This 200,000 will help us get an additional max shards count plus 2, giving us a max total of 15 shards per leaf. I would recommend getting higher if you can, as this will also increase the amount of damage that we can get. Pyramid, do not skip with Pyramid as well, as the milestones that we get will also help get us damage and be able to help us brew faster as well. The ones that I would recommend getting is going to be our 150, which is max shards count plus 2, giving us a total of 17 shards per leaf which is going to basically almost double the amount of damage that we can output per crafted leaf and then also getting us more curses and curses a second material storage and electrical storage as well so do not skip out in gaining uh, more pyramid force as well as it will also increase the damage that we get as well which will be very helpful if you're lacking it some other things that we need to make sure that we do prepare is making sure that we do have our relics crafted, making sure that we do have our leaf sentence running and we have the relics as well. Because if you have a uh, some level 3 relics, sorry not level 3 leaf sentence but not the relic to go with it, it will not do anything and you'll have wasted damage there. Make sure that you also do keep upgrading your unique leaves, your pets that you're going to be using your equipment and your tools, especially your droughts as well. So we can get the maximum amount of damage out of that as well. 
the first boss, which is going to be Batman, is going to be needing 2.2 E41 slap damage to beat, and the others will be incrementing by at least E4 damage increase or E6, depending on the bosses you're going to be jumping to. Another thing to make sure that we do is have our Kyanite leaf damage multiplier uh, as well, high as we can go, hopefully seeded, which we've done here, which is a max of 331 damage. And another thing is to make sure we have our damage scroll, our pet scroll on as well, as well as our unique, unique, sorry, our unique sleeve scroll as well to get the most out of our leaves and damage. That is all for today's video. If you have any questions about preparing for these bosses or anything for in the Sacred Nebula or anything else, please leave a comment down below in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.